good morning students in this video we are going to study about problems based on classical theorems and multiplicative functions so in this first problem they asked to verify the concurrence relation that is p minus 1 factorial is concurrently equal to minus 1 mod p for each p, for each p when p takes 5 and p takes 7 and asked to uh, and also told that without using wilson theorem you have to verify the concurrence relation by using wilson theorem means we can easily say that when 5 and 7 are prime number we can easily say that this relation is um, this concurrence relation is satisfied but here they ask to prove verify that without using wilson's theorem so we need to verify this concurrence relation so when p equal to 5 this p minus 1 factorial is nothing but 5 minus 1 factorial which is equal to 4 factorial we know that the value of 4 factorial is 24 when you divide this 24 by 5 5 5 is 25 so you get the remainder value is equal to minus 1 which is concurrently equal to minus 1 mod 5 so this relation is satisfied hence verified similarly we can verify for p equal to 7 so this p minus 1 factorial is equal to 7 minus 1 factorial which is nothing but 6 factorial we know that the value of 6 factorial is equal to 7 720 when you divide the 720 by 7 get the remainder is equal to minus 1 so 720 is concurrently equal to minus 1 mod 7 which also satisfy the concurrence relation p minus 1 factorial is concurrently equal to minus 1 mod p so for p equal to 7 also we verify this part Next problem is let P be R then 1, 1 squared 3 squared etc P minus 2 the whole squared is concurrently equal to minus 1 the whole power P plus 1 by 2 mod P. I start with the left hand side it is 1 squared into 3 squared into 5 squared etc P minus 2 the whole squared can be written as concurrently equal to 1 into 3 into 5 etc p minus 2 whole thing into 1 into 3 into 5 etc p minus 2 mod p so here already we know one uh, formula that i is concurrently equal to minus of p minus i mod p using this formula we can write the second term as first term you write as it is that is 1 into 3 into 5 into etc p minus 2 second term 1 instead of i substitute 1 means then 1 is concurrently equal to minus of p minus 1 mod p so 1 is concurrently equal to minus of p minus 1 similarly 3 is concurrently equal to minus of p minus 3 and 5 is concurrently equal to minus of p minus 5 similarly last term p minus 2 is concurrently equal to minus of p minus of p minus 2 Okay, finally put mod P. So, this 
so here we need to count how many number of terms are there in this p minus 1 p minus 3 p minus 4 p minus 5 etc p minus of p minus 2 terms so this term when you simplify this one you will get minus p minus of minus into minus plus p minus into minus plus plus into minus minus 2 so minus p plus p will cancel so this term can be written as 1 into 3 into 5 etc p minus 2 into p minus 1 p minus 3 p minus 5 etc Two into minus one power number of terms we have here we have to write how many number of terms are there so the chin check that is 1 into 3 into 5 7 9 11 etc up to p minus 2 yeah. so when you substitute p equal to 11 means automatically p minus 2 which is nothing but 11 minus 2 equal to 9 so up to 9 how many number of terms are there 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 so totally here we have 5 numbers of terms are there so this in terms of p it can be written as p minus 1 by 2 number of terms are there so when you substitute p equal to here we substitute p equal to 11 so 11 minus 1 by 2 that is 10 by 2 5 yeah. so this 5 number of terms can be written in terms of p as p minus 1 by 2 similarly we can check for any number if you substitute p equal to 9 means then p minus 2 is nothing but 9 minus 2 which is 7 so number of terms is 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 so here 4 number of terms now check with this formula p minus 1 by 2 that is p is here 9 9 minus 1 by 2 that is 4 by 2 8 by 2 sorry so total of number of terms is equal to 4 similarly we can check for the number p equal to 13 or okay 15 we may substitute p equal to 15 so p minus 2 is nothing but 15 minus 2 which is 13 so up to 13 this term can be written as 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 into 11 into 13 number of terms here is 7 so p minus 1 by 2 is nothing but 15 minus 1 by 2 which is 14 14 by 2 is equal to 7 so number of terms here 1 into 3 into 5 into etc p minus 2 number of terms can be written as p minus 1 by 2 so here we can write minus 1 power p minus 1 by 2 terms are there into mod p so this term here we have 1 next to 2 is here 3 is here 4 5 etc p minus 5 p minus 3 p minus 2 p minus 1 so when you multiplying these two terms this can be written as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into etc p minus 5 p minus 4 p minus 3 p minus 2 p minus 1 into minus 1 power p minus 1 by 2 mod p so this is nothing but p minus 1 factorial into minus 1 power p minus 1 by 2 mod p so by using wilson's theorem we can write we can write this p minus we can write this p minus 1 factorial can be written as minus 1 we know that p minus 1 factorial mod p can be written as minus 1 mod p so when base are equal we can add the power 
so this may be written as minus 1 power p minus 1 by 2 plus 1 mod p so p minus 1 plus 2 which is concurrently equal to minus 1 power p minus 1 plus 2 whole thing divided by 2 into mod p so which is concurrently equal to minus 1 power p minus 1 plus 2 means answer is p plus 1 so p plus 1 by 2 mod p so when you consider the left hand side 1 square 3 square 5 square etc p minus 2 the whole square then automatically we reach the right hand side answer minus 1 power p plus 1 by 2 mod p hence the statement is verified